Welcome to my fables. Please subscribe for more books read aloud. Little Miss Trouble by Roger Hargreaves. Here comes trouble, people used to say, and who do you think would come walking along? That's right, Little Miss Trouble. Oh, the trouble she caused! One morning, she went to see Mr. Uppity. Do you know what Mr. Small calls you behind your back? She asked him. No, replied Mr. Uppity. What does Mr. Small call me behind my back? Little Miss Trouble looked at him. Fatty, she said. Now Mr. Uppity didn't like that, not at all, not one little bit. He went immediately to see Mr. Small. How dare you call me Fatty? He shouted. But stammered Mr. Small, who never had called him Fatty. But but nothing! Shouted Mr. Uppity. And he hit poor Mr. Small. Ouch! And gave him a black eye. Poor Mr. Small. Little Miss Trouble, who was hiding behind a tree, hugged herself with glee. Oh, I do so like making trouble, she giggled to herself. Naughty girl. Little Miss Trouble went to see Mr. Clever. Do you know what Mr. Small calls you behind your back? She asked him. No, replied Mr. Clever. Tell me, what does Mr. Small call me behind my back? Little Miss Trouble looked at him. Big nose, she said. Now, Mr. Clever didn't like that very much either. Off he rushed, and when he found Mr. Small, without waiting for an explanation, he punched him hard in the other eye. Poor Mr. Small, two black eyes for something he'd never done. Oh, look at you! <laughs> Little Miss Trouble laughed when she saw him. It's all your fault, said Mr. Small. True, she said, and walked off. Poor Mr. Small had to go to the doctor. Good heavens! Exclaimed Doctor Make You Well when he saw him. Whatever happened to you? Mr. Small explained. I think Doctor Make You Well said when he'd heard what Mr. Small had to tell him that something should be done about that little lady. What she needs is. Then he stopped and he chuckled. That's it! He laughed. What's it? Asked Mr. Small, and Doctor Make You Well whispered something to Mr. Small. Would you like to know what he whispered? Not telling you. It's a secret. That afternoon, Mr. Small went to see Mr. Tickle. Do you know what Little Miss Trouble calls you behind your back? He asked. No, said Mr. Tickle. What does Little Miss Trouble call me behind my back? Mr. Small looked at him. Pudding face, he said. Then Mr. Small went to see Mr. Bump. Do you know what Little Miss Trouble calls you behind your back? He asked. No, said Mr. Bump. What does Little Miss Trouble call me behind my back? Mr. Small looked at him. Mr. Nitwit, he said. Little Miss Trouble was in trouble. How dare you call me Pudding Face? cried Mr. Tickle and tickled her. And how dare you call me Mr. Nitwit? cried Mr. Bump and bumped her. Now I don't know whether you've ever been tickled and bumped at the same time, but it's not much fun. In fact, it's no fun at all. Tickle bump, tickle bump, tickle bump, tickle bump for ten minutes, and ten minutes of tickle bumping is a long time. I can tell you. Later that evening, Doctor Makeywell strolled around to see Mister Small. How are the eyes? He asked. Oh, much better now, thank you," replied Mister Small. "And did our little plan work?" asked the doctor. "It did indeed," grinned Mister Small. "Shake," said Doctor Makeywell, and they shook hands. Well, not quite hands. Doctor Makeywell then strolled over to see Little Miss Trouble. She was feeling very sorry for herself. What's wrong with you? He asked her, and she told him all about it, all about everything. Doctor Makey Well looked at her. Cheer up, he said. You know what you've just had, don't you? Little Miss Trouble shook her head. A taste of your own medicine, he chuckled, and went home for supper. The end.